All right, so here we are. It's the grand finals of the Celeste 20% GSA tournament. I'm Programmatic, joined by Troy of Athens. And FC did have to uh, go help his brother out. Uh, he, he mentioned earlier that his brother's car broke down, so he's going to help him out with that, but he might be here in a later round. Yeah, uh, we'll hopefully see. Get that, that three way um, commentary going. Yeah, hopefully that works out. I don't, yeah. Family first, as always, in my mind. Um, but yeah, we got the grand finals here, Marlin versus TGH. We've led up to this. It's been, I've been very excited for this match. Like, pretty much, like, right into the day, like, like almost the day after, I was just like, put me in. <laughs> I'm calm in this. There's no way I'm not. <laughs> this is gonna be a close match. Like, there, I, I can't even think of a way that this can't yeah. be close. Like, we got we got we got the world record holder Marlin versus I think the previous uh, GSA champion TGH. Yeah. If I'm not yeah. mistaken. So definitely, definitely the two top 20% runners in the world. And their PBs are still pretty tight, despite like, despite uh, Marlin still being the only one who has a 26. It's still only like. TGH has uh, it. TGH adjusting his speed and timer? Okay. Doesn't want to see his IL timers, but... Oh wait, no, that shows... Both? No, it just shows... Oh, it shows we're... both. Okay, never mind. I mean, I think we're required to have file yeah. time on. So... But yeah, it's... TGH's PP is a 2702, so it's, it's, they're still very close within PP range itself, so I really do expect to see something very exciting today. Yeah. TGH did say he was, uh, moving away from any percent of it, saying this will be his last, uh, any percent tournament in a while, and he, he had also said he was going to stop the any percent grind, at least for a little bit. Right. Uh, he was actually he was actually laughing uh, farewell uh, in his previous stream. So if he starts running out, that'll still be pretty cool to watch. Farewell still has a long way to go in terms of optimization. Oh, we, definitely. We've seen yeah. runners like uh, Revolution really starting to put in some big stress into that chapter. I've seen some crazy stuff from that. Marlin pulling out a 59, chapter one. Oh, both of them with the 59. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, they're they're still keeping it close. Of course, you know, chapter one, it's not really gonna cause any sort of huge problems. Yeah. So I, I I'm very interested in seeing what Marlin does in Awake because he did recently get the um, chapter two world record. <laughs> by doing essentially the human equivalent of Tass Awake. So, <laughs> um, so he'll he'll probably at least go for it. If he doesn't get the delayed ultra at the start, mm. he'll probably just do normal awake. But it, it'll be I've... super hype if he pulls yeah. off. Yeah. I've never Tasha. actually seen a clip of it before, so I'll probably pop off if I say that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Zika has a chapter 2 world record, but then, um... Ooh! TGH taking a death there in the coin. got to run with Tass Awake. Maybe Zika took it back afterwards by gaining a Tass Awake of his own? Well, let me double check the IL boards. Okay, speedroad.com is not looking so great right now. Uh... Yeah, multiple people saying Zika would get it back, so... Or Zika. I oh, always Z-Cod. Okay, Zika did get it back two days ago. Alright, I just haven't checked it since then. He got it back by 0.4 seconds. So Marlin's still like easily the second fastest. <laughs> let's say. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, there's a ground. There's a delayed all chat. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, he, uh, wait, nope. He's still good. It's the stream skipping. Oh, um, he's going too fast for the stream. <laughs> oh no, we don't. We don't <laughs> he got it. <laughs> <laughs> Come <so> on! <laughs> he got the first part. 
Damn it, Twitch! <laughs> it's still frozen. What happened? He, he broke the sound barrier and then doing yeah. so, he broke the stream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The world will never know if he got the strat okay, or not. This is, this, is, this is really bad now, though. Yeah. It's just, it's just straight up froze. Okay, I'm just looking at TGH at this point. Like, it's, it'll... See what happens. Uh, I mean, Mar Milo's saying anything in the chat? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Probably just trying to figure it out. Because this is pre-recorded. Uh, Marlin is not in this chat room, so I can't even ping him in here. Isn't this a pre-recorded race? Oh, it is. Yeah. So, like, this shouldn't be... Like, it's, it's weird. You know, like, that's why it's, it seems kind of strange that, like, it, it would cut out like that. It's not a stream. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Just moving well, we're just moving through pretty well still. I just hope we can get Marlin up soon. I mean, yeah, Marlin does have fun internet. But... Oh, all right. Yeah, they just got. They're just. Got they, they're still jumping. like a second apart. All right. Cool. Yeah. So, okay, so we don't get to see what the end, what the awake section <laughs> was, or before a huge mess. I, I, I'm but... assuming since Marlin didn't get in a ton of time that he didn't quite get the pass awake, but. He got he got the delayed ultra at the start and still getting quite a bit of time in the first few rooms. So <laughs> he didn't get fast awake. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'll, I'll I'll check the vods on the ILP on the IL leaderboards. I'll I'll, I'll see it. Oh, it's messing. Uh, it's muted, so it's messing with VLC. That's weird. That is strange. Also, why was he pre-recording a race with copyrighted music? This is an inter this is some interesting drama development going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> Mar Marlin like, it's not my fault. Speedrun like, yeah it is. <laughs> Speedrun to One Direction. Yep. Marlin's favorite band. Good show OG Demo Dash from TGH though. Yeah. Is GSA like just cursed right now for grand finals? Like. It, it seems to be. <laughs> like SM64 cut out, <laughs> uh, Twitch just completely crashed on us, and now this. <laughs> can't, can't wait to see. Uh... Um, Super Mario Maker 2 finals in an 8 pixel resolution. Great. <laughs> okay, I think we're back up. Because, like, for a second I thought it, we were doubling stream, but we're not. Like, they are definitely different streams yeah. right now. And so they are actually and they, they, bad they are, like, close. Pretty much, they, they're tied to the second right now. <laughs> to the point where, for a bit, I legitimately thought, okay, we just are back to having TGH be doubled up. But we're not. This is... They are clearly Mar different streams. I think Marlin's ahead by a very small amount. Yeah. 27.1, 27.3, that's 0. 0.2 Point seconds two seconds. of a lead for Marlin. Okay, Marlin. okay. We better not lose it now, because we need to see this stuff. Chapter 4 can change a lot. This is a very difficult chapter to get perfect. Yeah. Okay, there's... I expect... The question is, will Marlin... 
I, I, I'm very doubtful that he will, but will Marlin attempt second blockless? Because I, I know he has a higher <laughs> success rate than a lot of runners at that strand, but I don't think I he mean, wants to take that risk against TGH. Has it gotten higher than 50%? Because last I remember, he said it was a 50%. Uh, it's probably not quite 50%, so... I don't, I don't, I, he probably won't go for it. Okay. Yeah, that's, that seems oh. too risky. Those are some weird movement clouds. It's probably enough to put TJ in the lead, given that the lead was only point two seconds before. Yeah, ceiling, you know, like, we're going to the first auto scroller, and, and first, ceil I mean, like, the ceiling pop could still cause problems, so. Yeah. Well, Marlin gets it. TGH okay, we're good, it. we're good. Uh, uh, okay, the, the, the Discord restream. This is definitely yeah, Discord, we... not, not, yeah, not Milo... one of their streams. Yeah, Milo, can we try to check servers in the Discord? Discord? Yeah. Okay, that's better. At least for a bit. We'll see what uh, happens. TGH got the bubble skip, Marlon did not, so he loses a little bit of time there. Yeah. Looks like TGH is about half a second ahead now. Ooh, that's gonna cost Marlon a lot the more time, changes. though. <laughs> Okay, second auto scroller. Yeah. Just working, working their way out of here. Yeah. Much safer. Good. Yep. Ooh, Marlin did that top route a little bit faster than he did. Meanwhile, Aurora Dash just talking about the history of One Direction in chat. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Okay, let's. Okay, we got some more Cliff's Edge going on now. This is. This can get get bad if you don't get things right, yeah. Ooh, very oh, good. Marlin uh, getting springless. Marlin. Yeah, Marlin getting the springless. <laughs> so. Think that Marlin? makes up. That makes up for the time that he lost in the. Uh, yeah. They, locker room. they they are just back to being synced again at the end of this chapter. Like I can't even say a lead. Now, because it's just frames apart again. <laughs> <laughs> what, oh, two oh, seconds. Point two two point seconds. Out. Like one, one point three about. Yeah. <laughs> what? What is trace? I don't know. What is trace? I'm not sure, but the better question is, what is race? What is this race? We get into. Oh, oh, that, that was oh, yeah. When you mess up that screen with the dash blocks, it, it just falls apart. You, you have to walk through the rest of the room because <laughs> none of the dash blocks are where you want them. Yeah. So the only mistakes we've seen by the runners so far are just movement errors, but every single one has changed the lead. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's just like right. continuously switching. You work? Okay, he got nice. it. Marlon got it. Go for it. Yeah. Both of them got the fast deal work. Setting up DCB now. Oh! TG does not get it. Marlon and Marlon it. Getting, and there right. we go, the lead switch. Yep, movement error. No, it, it, it's, like, it's like an absolute tie right now. <laughs> this is like, this is like point two off again. <laughs> My god, these two. Oh, and... Yeah, Marlin, just a little bit weird with- I uh, got caught up in the corner there. No, that- that- that start is intentional. Uh, oh, the way okay. to start that room with doing all those weird wall jumps, that's to get as many dashes at the start of the room as possible. Okay, it's it just- uh, TGH did something different at the start of the room, so I thought- uh, I thought TGH it was- TGH probably- TGH probably did, like, one dash fewer than Marlin did or so. Maybe. Which actually might have caused Marlin to get ahead because of the, you know, timer- Timer pausing. It's, it's three frames for that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's enough when they're that close. Yeah. Right. Close drop time. Alright, we're through. Three. Easy. <laughs> Easy shot. Are we gonna. Let's we'll see some bubble skips. We gotta. Um, I don't think. Okay, Either no runner does skips. anything crazy in these two rooms. I think they do just do the standard shots. Oh, they don't do cycle? Well, 
Oh, well, they'll go for early cycles. I know. Um, yeah. I think Marlin has gone for Void. Okay, this looks like Void Cycle. Yeah. Both going for it. Frame for frame. <laughs> the ex I, I can't tell the difference right now. What is this? I, I mean, I, I can see that they're slightly <laughs> offset, but... Oh my yeah. god! Alright, they're both gonna save and put here. Yep. <laughs> I am at a loss for words, like completely at a loss. <laughs> okay, uh, both Iroxans. Yeah. Let's go top route here. Oh, TJ just streams. If, Mar if Marlin goes for Pillarless, because I know T does TJ go for I don't think he's gonna go for full Pillarless. Yeah, no, it's not okay, super Okay, okay, they do the same strat, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Marlin going for Ultras here though. Yeah, Theo section can trip people up. Let's see. Oh, oh and as was, I that say, was too much ultra speed. Oh, that was too much ultra speed. <laughs> okay, secret gauntlet though. That feel when you're too fast at Theo ultra. <laughs> the, yeah, the instant commentator's curse. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just too good at. At, at least he died quickly. Is. Yeah. At least he went so fast that he also died quickly. We didn't even see the death. That's how quick it was. <laughs> it's just like, and it's dead. Alright, TJ's just ahead by like two seconds now. Yeah, it's the lead pretty much stayed from chapter four. Like, which, what lead? <laughs> <laughs> I went 6B. I mean, I think Marlin's... I mean, TGH definitely has gotten better at 6B, but I, I think Marlin's still a little bit better. And this is this is gonna be 6B yeah. against 6B. Revo's nonsense maybe to determine what uh, what our 6B looks like. Oh, oh, yeah, oh never mind, it's, it's the lake skip. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> A little bit high on the feather. But yeah, I mean, I've seen people die at Torero's nonsense. It's a thing. But okay, oh, just, yep, redoing it. Doing with the tough a little bit. Oh, this is the wave dash. Marlin. No! Oh! And there's the. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I gotta stop talking. <laughs> what was that corner boost? I I've gotta I've stop talking. That that before. I, I, I don't think Marlin... Hmm. It's a really nice day outside. I'm just gonna talk about, like, anything else right now. <laughs> oh, just got, just got word from FC. He he said he might not be able to join us, unfortunately. Oh, Sad, because this, this is a very good race. Like, no matter... Even though I'm cursing it like crazy, apparently. This is yeah. still an incredible race. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so far, as far the only significant time loss was in A of all chapters. The two deaths. We least expect it. I mean, 6B can have some pretty significant deaths, though. Gage in the falling section. Just descend into the depths. Something that TGH had pointed out, like uh, back at um, the uh, CRDQ that was done by, by Games Done Quick people, uh, like that, that 
during this whole section you're doing downward diagonal dashes to go even faster. Yeah. And I find that, like, when I started to actually see that, like, realize that what, what was, that was what was going on, I like, that is crazy. <laughs> yeah. TGH into the battle in section now. And just a couple screens behind. Still very close by any standard, really. Yeah. But like, if, if this if this race goes the same way the start of the race does, yeah. this, this difference isn't going to change. <laughs> Yeah, let's get uh, some no love better, for yeah. let's get some love for FC in the chat there. Shout out to Greg. <laughs> oh no, if I escape from Marlin either. Girl, it's a new big speed game. How have you not heard of it? I haven't heard of it actually. I, I don't. I'm not familiar with this joke. <laughs> yeah, everyone's. Yeah, they're. The rest of six speed is looking very smooth. Actually, I haven't really seen anything really worth like pointing out specifically because both yeah. speeds have been incredibly smooth. I, I don't know if I, you know. We got the dynamic, you know, with SM64, SM64 finals, had their dynamic of just like constantly improving and vamping. We, we, we're, just, we're just chill, you know? We keep, we keep it chill here in, in Celeste commentary. Until it gets hype, because that's why we, I think that's why we keep it chill, is because we need to save our energy for when it gets really hype. <laughs> but these, cor yeah, corner boosts are good. Solid question. Um, do we look at both rock? Uh, do we look somewhere in the middle? Um, kind of. We kind of look somewhere in the middle. At least I do personally. I, I tend to look back and forth a lot. Um, yeah. If there's a particularly difficult room that I know is coming up, I'll go. I'll, I'll look at that specific uh, screen because I know it's likely that something's going to happen. Also, I think the, the uh, Madeline dying animation is actually particularly eye-catching. So, yeah. tip typically, if some if it happens, I no will notice that like almost no matter what. Yeah, and I'm like I'm like a f familiar enough with the movement that I can notice the uh, discrepancy just kind of in my yeah. periphery. So, even just like a movement error is pretty easy to catch. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, wait, what What did he enter? Okay, it was like a early, yeah, very... Okay, yeah, just looking at IL com compared to the summit, uh, to the current file timer. Yeah, so it was like a 19.00x into here. So, yeah, I guess it's possible, yeah. <laughs> but I'm not... Oh, it was 19 flat? <laughs> Well, I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't know if, if TJ has ever really pulled off a sub-8 summit in a run before. Both, both these players are very good at summit, but yeah. Marlin, Marlin, 
it, it's like another level with Marlin in some ways for, for Summit. It's like pulling out like, yeah, I can get a 750, 759, 758 in a run. I'm like, why? And how? <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna stay in the lead for now. But it's it's really only like what is this like 10, 15 it's, seconds? It's been 15 seconds since the start of uh since the end of 6A, so Yeah. Yeah, the yeah, the race world record is some around is yeah, 2720. Demo. Oh, this this room has a really bad mm. death cycle. This is, that, that's, that's, the, that's one of the worst death cycles in 1500. Yeah, it definitely looks like it. Battle in Room's death cycle isn't all that bad. I have a death trap for that that works pretty consistently. Two thousand meters now. Oh, okay. Nah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just it's a little headbutt of the wall. It's it's fine. Take my goes top out here. Yeah. Oh, mm. jump forward too soon. That's yeah. sad. I think he was. I, I think he got a little bit like thrown off there because just before he got to that lead uh, part, he was he wall grabbed really low on the on the first part of it. Like he had to climb up a little bit, so I might have just like kick him yeah. out of well, it for a second. Yeah. Well, it popped me up on that as some runner's preference because you can either try and get all the climbs those really high so you can corner boost off that corner, which is extremely dangerous. Mm. Or you can intentionally grab it low so that you can climb to the top and always jump from the same height. And now Marlin getting the, a little bit. Which is kind of the safe and recommended way of doing it. But and, I think Marlin took it a little riskier and didn't end up where he was expecting. Yeah, so just falling further behind. It's somewhere around 20 seconds now. What was that? I'm not even sure. What? That was... That... Was that a miss input, I guess? It looked like a miss input. Okay, yeah, he just did the... Yeah, so seeing what he actually wanted to do that time around, I guess he just wanted... Yeah. I guess he did the the second left dash a bit too early. Yeah, he, he does that differently than I usually see people do it. I see people usually fall until they're low enough just to do two quick dashes to battle in, but he canceled the spring momentum with the first left dash, which is probably a little faster. Yeah, it, it corner, definitely looks like a faster, a corner, uh, faster strategy there. Marlin's just pulling out, like, I, I think at this point, Marlin knows that he's behind, probably, and he's just yeah, pulling think, out, like, I really think, I think he just won at this point. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think Marlin's just, at this point, just practicing, like, really crazy stuff, just, just to do it. <laughs> You know, it's, which is good. It's, it keeps your hands warm while yeah. you get ready for the next race, because you you just figure, okay, this one's a wash. I'll just get ready and practice and keep my self ready so that I can bring it back. But yes, TGH on a very good pace still. So like, yeah. it's just. E even if Marlin was like playing his has, absolute best, has this TGH would still had, be very hard. Besides, besides that one room, fifteen hundred, has TGH had any other unintentional deaths this entire race? I'm not. 
entire race, I can't confidently say, but the summit, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the summit for sure. That was his only unintentional death. Yeah. Did he die in 2A? Okay, I don't remember. Oh yeah, yeah, he did. I, I, I remember reacting. I, I remember reacting though. It was in the four coin room. The one where you go up and then back down. Yeah, the during the battle and chase, the like one of the first rooms of the battle and chase. Okay, that's not too bad of a death zone. Not yeah, not the one with the space block. The one with just the one space block in the middle. Yeah. Whoa. Peach, that's not the angle I usually see people dash. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah, okay. Peach, is, Peach is on like 27 OF space right now. Yeah. Final five flags. So yeah, I'm gonna go for that race world record right here. I don't think I don't think it can quite 26 doesn't look like it's quite enough. No, but probably not. Yeah, this is this is a really good pace for a race. Yeah, e easy pace, e easy GSA world record right here. No race world record. Off of his PB 2703. Yeah, off of his PB, but then by less than a second. Six over to 2704, but my I th I'm pretty sure what I just said still rings true. 2702.5 is his PB. Yeah. So so that's a one point. That's 1.5 seconds off his PB. Yeah. That that's. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's easily a new race world record for GSA. 2704 and 802 summit as well. Very good summit time. How many how many deaths was that uh, that round? Like that had to only know. be like so they're, they're I guess three. Three intentional like, deaths. All we can think so, yeah, yes. Yeah. All we so can we'll think of is three. No, it's three intentional it's, deaths, so we can figure three out. Three intentional. Yeah. Key skip. Key skip, bumps drop, and uh five B safe and quit. Oh, okay. I didn't realize. I forgot that counts as a death. Not e he's not even gonna show us the epilogue. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta see How many epilogue. deaths was it, TGH? We need to know. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Well, ask later. Okay, so yeah, we did actually just skip ahead for ease of stream and stuff, so sorry. But we'll you know, get right into the next race. That's what we that's what we're here for anyway. And oh wait, no, never mind. Just at the bottom. Okay, so yeah, we saw all those deaths then, yeah. Marlon's saying that he had two unintentional deaths. So yep, just the ones we said. The one in yep. fifteen hundred meters and in two A. That was it. <laughs> Ridiculous time. It just comes to show, like, even just two unintentional deaths is too many to 26. Yeah. <laughs> like, that, that just shows how tight 26 is. Absolutely, yeah. Like, I think Marlin's world record had one unintentional death, or did it have none? I think it was one. Okay. That sounds right. Marlin with a lot of mo movement mistakes. Oh, Kevin just got right there. Yeah. Gotta love it. Yeah. Not quite getting it, that'll cost some time. I, th I think, at least for the first race, like knowing that that's what the time was at the end for TGH, I feel like that would take like a little weight off of off of my shoulders if I was like, well, even like. Like, even if I was playing my best, it would have been very hard to beat a time like that. Yeah. So, like... 
Alright, so Tish with a slight lead out of city. Three? Okay, okay. By point three, yeah. <laughs> Mar Marlin pulling out the knowledge for us, thank you. <laughs> Wait, three unintentional violence PB? Okay, that's... They had to be f extremely small deaths then. Oh, oh, skip the cutscene a little too early there. Yeah, happens to all, everyone pretty much. Like. <laughs> you could have the developers change one thing in this game. I think it would be to make it so we don't accidentally retry before a skip cutscene. <laughs> Uh, I'd say if the devs made one change, it would be that letting go of a button too early doesn't cancel your buffered input because buffs drop. But... Fair. That's fair. <laughs> well, that was a weird misdirect from Marlin. <laughs> yeah. Gonna allow TGH to catch up a little bit. But Marlin still has the lead, I believe. There actually is a timer desync, so almost impossible to tell right now. <laughs> Oh! Uh, make them a button possible on console, that's a good one. Alright, another <laughs> awake, another chance for Marlin to go ludicrously fast. Let's see. Oh, there's the delayed ultra. Oh, oh we're, we're looking for- oh! oh! He hit that corner. <laughs> we got- it was still- he, he got, he got like the first one third of it. Yeah, I, I get the idea. You got, I totally... got to see him go pretty fast for a moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Getting caught yeah, that's on still that. definitely save time. That was really oh, absolutely, <laughs> but it was still just that one, that one. It's a little bit too low on that one part, and that was it. <laughs> I, I think I think I'm pretty sure that's the hardest room in the entire entire set. At least I've seen. Well, probably. Oh, oh, like you have it to get really looked so like Marlon missed that key right there. I could have sworn I saw Marlon miss that key, but he must have touched it by like a pixel. <laughs> Tiluo, Tiluo, I actually want that to be the name of that strat now. <laughs> it's not the awake section, it's the woke section. <laughs> <laughs> if you pull just, just, just off- call, Just pull... call the hash strat of awake, woke. Yeah, like- You got woke. <laughs> It's a huge mess. Oh, oh! That, jumped, that jumped a little too early there. Yeah, that was an awkward jump. That was an awkward death. Not too far behind though, like a second. Uh, second and a half lead for Teach. Yeah. Oh. 507 on that Oshiro to 509. Well, yeah, Marlin just did a little flub getting to Oshiro there. Probably about two seconds now. They gotta, they gotta keep it close for the viewers. This isn't for money, this is for the fans. <laughs> that was a Evans fight cussing skip. I didn't know.
It's sad that that corner boost has gotten, has like, people have stopped going for that corner boost now. Yeah, it's just, just the other strat is so much safer and barely slower. Yeah. It looks so cool when people pull it off, but I, I absolutely understand removing it from people's runs. Like, it's just, it's such a risky strat to go for. Marlin not doing the fast wall bounces in that switch. Alright, coming up on Damadash, he is almost certainly going to go checkpoint less. Having a lot of trouble with this setup. Marlin gets straight to it, and he dies! Oh, Marlin gonna take oh, no. the lead from that! <laughs> TGH just... That's what happens when you hesitate on this. You, you gotta you gotta be confident on your Demodashes, or... It just falls apart. Well, I mean, he dropped down because you could tell that he didn't get the setup, but it took him a while to get the setup. Yeah. Like, no, I, you, I, I get it. If you're, know... if you're... Yeah, if you're not on the right pixel, I know, you gotta put it back yeah. together, but still. Because <laughs> the only way to get the one pixel set up like consistently is to tap up for exactly two frames. If you tap up for more than two frames, you go to the second pixel. Yeah. Oh, Marlin on a weird. Marlin cycle on a now. really weird cycle here. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's gonna have to improvise. Oh, she was gonna be on his way. Okay. It's fine. He Not made too it. bad. Yeah. Still saving a lot of time over TGH because of that demo dash. Yeah. We got like a 10 second lead here. Uh, it's a little too soon to say that. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> way too soon. <laughs> it's way too soon to say that. <laughs> Uh, oh, teach? <laughs> what was that? He just, the dash? He, he didn't get his dash back. I guess he like missed the bunny hop or something. Oh, of course, yeah. Game three would be epic. You know, I don't know about you, Prickermat, but you know me. I I always am. Oh, that was. I always am rooting for. Perfect. I'm always just rooting for the best show. Like I don't. I'm yeah. never. I'm never rooting for one side or the other. It's, for me, it's always like, I just want it to be as entertaining as possible. <laughs> yeah. All right, silly pop. All right. I, yeah. And I think Marlin does diagonal with that silly pop to make it a little easier as well. I don't think Teach does. TGH has been at, like, has been at the top for a long time, so TGH definitely has that consistency, but Marlin, he's just been pulling his weight, like, he worked so hard to get where he is. The amount of times that he is, he failed to get a 26, to finally get one, it, it's, it just shows how hard of a worker Marlin is at this game. Marlin's so. really good at landing on the leftmost pixel of that platform. This is a boy of Like he, he he climbs himself and then just taps right for like a frame to land on that pixel. Yeah, uh, their their PBs are five seconds apart. The twenty six fifty seven to the twenty seven oh two. So it's. Okay, let's see if we can get a snowball skip. Nice. This is a really good bitch from Marlin. Okay, yeah, TGH not gonna go for Springless there. 2.30. Nice. Just about keeping the distance. TJ's falling 
Well, actually, a little bit further behind now, TGH, but... Yeah, so. it's a T36. Six seconds lost. Yeah. Ah, uh, Mylan not Again! getting the boost. Yeah, because he, he does he does a harder strat than a lot of people do. Most people extend the dash jump off that first platform. It's the then just dash right. Yeah. But you, you can you can demo hyper off the first platform and then get a point of boost off the second one. Oh of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I mean like it. how did I how did I not see that? Like of course. <laughs> <laughs> And getting that corner of boost isn't too hard, it's just that if you miss it, and you don't end up where you expect, you kind of yeah. end up in a really awkward place. Also, depth corner boost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, how do I not, you know, how do I not see that demo hyper? Obviously, yeah. Okay. I'll keep that in mind for next time. A little bit of trouble with the setup, but it looks good. Depth corner boost. By both yeah, got, got that yeet, yep. Um, I mean, Zeke had just found that setup, so there's probably, he might have even found the setup before this race was pre-recorded. I don't remember, I don't know when it was recorded, but right. it, 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 it probably, they probably wouldn't want to change their strat for DCB for this grand final race. So we will pull up a nearly perfect run. A nearly perfect run would be like... 26-4x. Like, 4-4-4x, four, four, yes. four in, in the current state of the run, 4x is the lowest any percent could possibly go. But n nobody's gonna, even Marlin wouldn't grind for 4x, that's, that's too much. We need is, another big discovery. Comsob is that low? <laughs> Comsob is lower than 2x, or 4x, I think. I think it's like a 2x, but... Like I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say Comsob would be the definition of a perfect run. Yeah, because no one, there are certain things that are done in. I attempted. Absolutely, and yeah, not attempted in the slightest. Like I could think of. Like, oh, twenty-five fifteen. Okay. Uh, all right. That's <laughs> twenty-five fifty-one or twenty-five fifteen. Who, who typed it correctly? <laughs> Oh, section SOB is 2515, chapter SOB is 2551. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, going full ILs versus screen versus, uh, screen to screen different people. <laughs> Yeah, but if you're if you were to only take into account aisles that consisted of like, full game strats, it would probably be like a twenty six two x or one x maybe. Yeah, I've never even heard of a section com sob, but that means like taking all the world's no, best I know... individual checkpoints. Yeah, I could guess what that is. Yeah, each screen. Yeah, you just take the world's best of well, each Well, th I think screen by screen would be even lower, but <laughs> it's probably checkpoints. Oh, okay. Sorry, we're getting distracted because <laughs> at this point Marlin is... Marlin very much has the lead still, but these are still crazy runs. Some checkpoints are broken up? Okay. I guess the section S of these is a little arbitrary then. Mar yeah, Marlin entering chapter 6 with a 13-3x. Like... <laughs> <laughs> just like... Alright, late suit gave him trouble last time. Oh, uh, that's not a still death, is. But still is! Death. Okay. I mean, this, this is not, that's not nearly as much lost time as... TDH's demo dash death, but mm -hmm. that that was a another weird misdirect. Um, for, world record is probably off the table for Marlin at this point with that like skip error. Yeah, but, but he's. I think I, I still think he's like trying to like pull. TDH people. dying the leg skip as well. Yeah. And missing the corner as well, so he lost it's the same amount of time as Marlin did. 
to this day, Link Skip still gets people. Yeah. Like in, in in terms of like execution, not necessarily like average time loss, but execution. Oh, that looks okay. like looks like a bit. Of, yeah, a bit of a safe rebel. I, I think I think that's Scott's sensibility. I don't remember exactly what strat that is, but yeah, I've heard that term like, before. Yeah, it looked like Scott's sensibility. Mm -hmm. Marvin's big dynamicness. <laughs> But going for the pretty much <laughs> the full with the Kevin. That was cool. That was a cool save right there. Yeah, I was a pretty much a full uh, revo. Uh, pretty much a full nonsense right there. There are, there are just so many fun names for that that screen. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm glad like we keep just iterating on that. It's it's great. <laughs> All right, six B yet again. Don't think we'll like, like it, it could get bad, but it, it, I mean I've said before, I, I said last run like. A death in this in this chapter is huge. So you gotta stay where you are. Like, you gotta keep it going. But like, I mean, these these players are not. They're they're certainly familiar with um with with pressure. So Marlin, knowing he's on a good run, isn't gonna get to him necessarily or anything. He's gonna be able to pull it out. I'm pretty sure. Marlin's Moxie. <laughs> I, I see a lot of the, I see a lot of different ideas in chat, but I think Marlin's Moxie is the winner for me. Okay, Marlin, final screen, getting that dev demo, and now into the battling section. Oh! That's a demo dash death, yeah. Okay, so not the biggest one, because, yeah, that demo dash is still at the start of the screen. Are we gonna get a featherless? Nope. Nah. Okay, that's fine. Oh, he missed. He missed that switch. Yeah. He doesn't know how to back that up. TGH getting featherless though. Yeah. I really like Marlin's uh, neutral jump timing mechanism for that. Yeah, and grab. It, it probably like allows him to get it like much quicker instead of having to like. Um, go no, it takes the exact same amount of time doing it with or without the neutral jumps. He just does it to figure out exactly what the timing is. Like you saw, Teach just held held it, but he still got the crystal at pretty much the perfect time. Yeah, so I guess it's just internal timing based on uh, instead of actually like using. A reference point like Marlin does. But it's definitely a good idea to have that. Yeah. Oh no! Oh. That's, that's a big one. Still keeping the lead for now. 
but it's yeah. definitely gotten much closer. For now. For now. I mean, like, look, look at that pyro D thing. Okay, I see where you're at. <laughs> I can see this ahead. <laughs> I see where you're coming from. Hold up, yeah. 25. 25.9. 20. Yep. 23.3. Yep. Just ahead. Oh my god. Wow, okay. It came back. Here we go. Marlon gonna f have to fight for this game three. Yeah, taking a deep breath before going into summit because you know you have to get back into the zone. Like he, I'm sure he like got a little bit annoyed because he was on a very good run at, until the end of that six B. And yeah. so and now like he had to like just shake it off and be like, okay, no, right. I still gotta, That's I still sick. gotta finish this one out. Yeah, a room apart. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Marlin just had to get back into a normal headspace before starting out the summit, but now we're we're in this and like I said, we got Marlin gonna have to fight for that game three. TGH will not let him have it easily. He's just gonna miss a coin, and it's actually, yeah, gonna allow Marlin to catch up a little bit. We are on the same screen. It's, a, it's one second now. Yeah. Yeah, timers are impossible to perfectly sync because of how the timer pauses every time Madeline dashes. So yeah, usually, usually we just sync it and once they, and leave it at that. If, if like, they synced <laughs> it and then it fell off. Like, oh yeah, Marlon doing the back there. He was a little okay. too low. Good call. Yeah. and low on those green blocks. Yep. A second keeping, and a half still. Keeping the Dream Hypers. Both sides no problem with them. Oh, Mar Marlon got the corner to jump out of the room. He did not. That's like about half a second. Mar I mean also Marlon went for the Aurora dash where TGH didn't. He, he didn't go for the demo? No, TGH went around it. Oh wow. Yeah, uh, that surprises me a little because that demo is super consistent. I don't know, maybe he just wasn't feeling it this time. Yeah. Oh, that was Marlin. Do you, yeah. you back this up? It doesn't can matter. Marlin, team... Can Marlin back? <laughs> oh my god, yeah. TDH already just just sprinting ahead though. Yeah, that, that still cost Marlin a ton of time. But how did he? Oh, thank you, Spring. How did he not die to that? Yeah. That was the most awkward cycle to sync. I've ever seen someone survive. Oh, oh, and dying in the... Wow, okay. It looks like he's got so a decent death trap for this room, but... Okay, I got the landing, losing yeah. more time. I got the landing for TGH, so we'll see how much of a distance we're... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I mean, that's a very small death. Yeah, okay, Taking yeah. the strawberry there. Okay, so a bit less than 10 second difference from what I just saw going into 2000. Yeah. It was 10 seconds again, exactly, but then counting that death, I'm saying less than 10. Half out, looking pretty nice there. I suppose Skip Skip gave Marlin trouble last time. Looks like it's going better this time, alright.
Arlen goes for the strategy again. Okay, he oh, yeah, he does, he does that yeah. same early left dash. Didn't yeah. kill himself this time. Okay. It's it's going to take another death from TGH at this point. Gulch is there. Oh, Ooh. a little too early on past Peach. Yep. Mm -hmm. Good backup, but still. Grab that orb at pretty much exactly 50 seconds. Alright, Martin a little less than 9 seconds behind. Coming down to 3k. There are some notorious flags in this game. Yeah, TJ's even making sure to get some flags just so that he <laughs> doesn't, you know, like doesn't take anything. Well, I think he, I think he grabbed flag twenty two just because he made a movement error trying to skip it. But okay. yeah, flag twenty didn't trip him up. That was that was kind of where I was expecting a problem potentially, if anywhere. I think Ultra Room was a misdirected dash. I think he accidentally dashed right instead of the second Ultra. But it cost him the whole race. Like, it's. it's yeah. It, it's like no chance of Marlin catching up, almost. Like, it, it's gonna take something huge. Like we got ten flags left. It's it's hard to see something else happening. I mean, this is yeah. Is it like ten to twenty <laughs> this, seconds? This, this, this is how it always goes. It's close towards then, the end of updraft, and we try and curse the race. Yeah, yeah. You saying commentators curse? curse? Well, <laughs> yes. We're trying here. We're trying for a game three guy. <laughs> what do you think we're doing? <laughs> Not, yeah, not today. Go. Commentator's curse is not a thing that you can control, so it's still gonna remain with TGH in the lead and taking game two. Yep, he's just a champion. And three seasons in a row, you cannot keep him down. Gonna take it out. Gonna finish up his racing for GSA. I don't know. If, he may come back, so I won't say anything he, like his final one he, or anything. He did tweet. He did tweet that he doesn't want to come back there. Oh, okay. But... Okay. Oh, and do we have Teach in commentary? Or in interview? I mean, we usually don't get those in, in pre-recorded. Yeah, but I mean, he's but in the he's Discord. Here. Yeah, oh. they let him join. Oh, is that TGH? Oh. Uh, oh. Hello. Yes, that's me. Hello. <laughs> okay. Hi. Hey, so, congratulations. Hey, thanks. Um, my, my mic is good. No echo on the, the audio. Sounds I don't hear good, anything. Yeah. Seems okay. I mean, there's, there's probably a lot more echo on my audio, so it's fine. No, that's fine. You're good. Yeah, so congratulations. 
thanks. Yeah, it feels, uh, it honestly just feels good that it's over, <laughs> honestly. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah, I went in, I, a long I, I definitely went into the series of races, um, not, not necessarily complacent, but more along the lines of, um, you know, I, I just, I knew I would be like really happy when it was over because it's been a really stressful season for me. Um, just because of like, I don't know, it's always stressful to like stay on top of my game for like any sort of extended period of time. And I, I definitely really needed to do that this season to, to, to pull through with it. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure once you got that, that first race, it just like probably made it clear that you could do this. Yeah, well, I mean, okay, so as far as the first race goes, uh, it's it's amazing what uh, what fresh hands will do. Um, because uh, I hadn't really played that much for like the couple of days leading up to the finals. Like I, I like I hadn't done like any sort of full run at all. Uh, I just sort of like took it easy for like the two days pre um, um, beforehand, and just that plus um, like I'm I'm always I'm always under the uh, under the pretense that you know as long as I like stay focused and calm and you know just play how I know how to play, I can play my best, and that's pretty much what happened in the first race and then in the second race i made some mistakes obviously like uh, like demo dash was bad but that was by far like my worst time loss in the entire run um and everything else was okay enough so yeah and in round one you got the best time we've ever seen in a race that was that was like 1.5 seconds off your pv it felt really good yeah it felt super good like especially like you know there's like I said, there's a lot of stress like leading up to the finals and you know, just um I you know, it was it, it it's a bonus honestly at this point. Right. And Marlon definitely did put up a good fight too. Oh, Marlon's been incredible all season. Like it's been it's been really fun watching him rise to the top. It really has. Um and he's he's a really cool guy. I was able to meet him in person, obviously at the the barrier event in in France, and uh, he's right. just he's super chill. He's like, honestly, like he um he's he's definitely like someone you want to meet. You know, like he's uh and he he has a, he has a presence about him as well. Like just you know you know that kind of like competitor's presence. Um and but he's just a super cool guy. Yeah. And it's been it's been really fun watching him improve and just his his accomplishments with Celeste have been just really 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 admirable. Absolutely, I just I, you got to keep respect going. In this 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 community has always has always been about just keep, keeping it tight. Like we've I think we all keep it like we try to keep, help everybody out and everything. So definitely don't discourage anyone from running this game. Yeah, and hu huge GGs for the races as well. Like I, for um, it, it was just like for the semis. You know, I'm 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 sad I wasn't able to be interviewed for the semis because um, I I feel I honestly feel the same way about uh, the way Aurora Dash has come up as well because like I I had to play my ass off uh, in every race I've had with him over the past two seasons in order to beat him, and it's been the same with with Marlon. In fact, the first race today, or rather, it wasn't today. It was actually two days ago. But you know what? You don't know that. Um, <laughs> you don't know this is pre-recorded, but anyway, um, like I, I really, really had to be on my A game, and I knew I did. So, yeah, just, uh, you know, was it, able it to pull it out, thankfully. It, it just seems like I mean, Aurora Dash had mentioned it in the chat earlier that like he always seems to play his best against you, but I think that's the case for a lot of runners. I saw that. I saw <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I heard. I heard you say that, and I was. Uh, I was. I was very pleased to, uh, I was very pleased at the shout out. Sorry, my, my Siri is going off. One sec. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid iPad. Hey, um, anyway, <laughs> but yeah, I was, um, it, it's, it's been fun watching these guys come up for sure. Um, but I, I will say though, um, and I, I, I heard you mention this. Um, I heard you mention in commentary that on Twitter, I did, um, I did sort of like announce that I won't be coming back for season four. And that, that is true. Um, it's been just I'm going to take the next season off uh, if there is a next season I'm going to take the next season off um, in order to like focus more on myself and my own mental health so yeah 
but huge shout out to GSA for putting on another great tournament and great season. And um, I look forward to I look forward to watching the races for season four, and uh, maybe coming back for season five. All right, so there it is. Yeah, I I, I didn't want to say for sure that you were just like completely running away from Celeste because like I don't think that's even possible for you at this point. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I'm not I'm not stopping playing the game. Like that's for sure. I'm just stopping competing for a while. Yeah, it, it's definitely it's not uncommon to get burned out from the races it, yeah it's like play, the playing the game playing the game is great i don't know if i could see myself stopping playing the game for a while but man competing is stressful yeah it's super right. stressful and i'm at a point now where i feel like i should probably stop like just for the time being well yeah, yeah I, saw, I saw you were laughing uh Farewell earlier. It'll be really yeah, interesting I to see I that. I peed by that more than a minute earlier. <laughs> in, oh, in I didn't. Even, I, I didn't catch that. I think I was yeah. asleep when that happened. Yeah, sixteen thirty-five. Well, certainly a great note to end it on for yourself. Just Thank being, you. Yeah, you're just being able to show that you, like, you're gonna be like showing that, even though you're not gonna be here for the next like next season, you showed that why why you worked why you deserved to uh to win this season like you just were able to just blow the the gsa uh, pay, uh race world record out of the water and so that definitely makes the impact for next season it's just like it, it'll still happen like throughout the whole next season it'll still probably still be like is anyone going to be able to beat that time <laughs> like <laughs> i mean like well look look at look at uh look at last season what was the best what was the best time from last season uh the well the previous one was a 27 20 so before the one that you well just the got previous here. yeah the previous race record was i think by marlin um earlier this season uh, against against me season? against me go figure um last but... season i did keep <laughs> stats for last season so i actually could pull that one up i want to say <laughs> it was something like a high 27 30s because i know i know the record was a 27 31 at the end of last season uh but uh best actually I, i'm not sure actually, about that but yeah uh, best time of someone, season someone two was 2754 according to my thing it's actually <laughs> way higher than i thought it would be yeah so like it's yeah it's you know just so take that into account when you consider what next season's times might look like yeah very true yeah like you know, yeah it's always, I, it's always I, changing it's always evolving yeah, a year ago we would we never thought twenty six would happen. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think like earlier earlier this year we didn't think twenty six was gonna happen. Yeah, or at least, like, some, people, some people were still saying like twenty uh, twenty six is a job for twenty twenty one. People people were still people were still saying twenty six was impossible two weeks before my. I was got one it, of them. So. I was one of the people. <laughs> saying, like, you know, like, twenty six won't happen until until like either very late this year or next year. But uh, you know, this game has a way of making a fool out of you. Yeah, absolutely. In more ways than one. Mar Marlin just worked so hard for that. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's part of it. But, I mean, we've been told to. I, I we were told to like close this interview like five minutes ago, but we still oh, going. God, <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> Sorry, he hasn't given sorry. us anything. He hasn't given us any other signals, so I guess we're still good. But like, I mean, if you have anything else to say, sorry, Milo. Sorry, <laughs> um, but anyway, um, yeah, like again, shout out to GSA for um for for putting on just these tournaments in general. You know, it's a, I I, I think it's a really good step for speedrunning, um, just on on so many in so many different ways and. Uh, GG's to all the competitors. Um, you guys were all great. You made this tournament what it is, and um, I'll, uh, you know, best of luck for next season. And I'm looking forward to it. Yep. I'm excited to see what the rest of the can pull out. Like, <laughs> it's still, it's still like, still less. With, with innovations for it. I, I don't think it ever will stop. I, that's the case for a lot of speed games. We're always plan trying to pull out the next big trick. <laughs> Alright, so... So thank you, also for Sorry, I forgot to mention GG to the comms as well. Uh, to all you guys, Troy, Programmatic, 
uh, T. Luo, Thanks. FC. Thank you. And um, I'm positive I'm missing at least one person. I'm sorry. Uh, Dave. I think Dave commentated some races this season. Chai yeah, did yeah, as well. Uh, Chai Kitty commentated some races this season. Anybody, anybody who I'm missing, I'm I'm sorry for for anybody I missed. But you guys, you guys are awesome. Thanks for thanks for making great entertainment even greater. Thank you. It, it's. I mean, we we do it because it's so much fun. It, it's just. It's fun to just be here and enjoy the races with you guys. Um, but, I mean, for as far as GSA goes, we're still, I still think that, you know, like they're still going through for the rest of the day. They got, uh, coming up after, once we finish up this interview, we got the um, Super Mario Maker 2 bronze match in their grand final for uh, the Versus League. Uh, not the Expert Mode League. Uh, so, yeah. That'll be cool to see. So, um, I guess, like, see you guys next season. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thank you, everyone.